Marcus Santafonte. Man, I've been letting you run your mouth for months and all it took was five minutes of me being out here for me to realize that was the worst mistake I could have made. You wanna hear from me. You want me to speak for myself? You want the bars? Well, I'll spit them for you, but I'm not talking about the kind you gotta pull Alex Cross and Crucible out of for your yearly play date. See, when me and you first met in 2009, you were a lifetime mid-card cameraman trying to play Dawn in New York. And me? I was a fat kid, maybe a little overzealous with a hot-headed best friend who got himself into trouble with his mouth sometimes, but we were just trying to do whatever we could to gain even a slice of respect from the people that told us we couldn't. Fast forward a year later, and here we are. Me and you, this very field, 14 years ago today, standing across from one another about to main event the biggest backyard super show since Backyard Week. And I thought, maybe naively, that that'd be the night that stuff changed between us. Maybe we could fight like foes and hug it out like bros and maybe even become friends afterwards. But you couldn't let that happen. You became the god of this shit because that's who you always wanted to be. You took every opportunity you could to kick me while I was down, put the whole world against me and hold me back from ever doing anything cool. And I still got up. Every single time I still got up with a smile on my face because that's who the fuck I am. Now I had a friend tell me recently that maybe you and I aren't as different as we think we are. And I sat with that and thought about it. And what came to my head was when B cubed kicked my lip off, I kept on fighting. But whenever Eric Douglas hurt your ego, you walked out on him. We are not the same. And I guess I'll fight you one more time to prove it. But this time I'm not fighting for a region. I'm not fighting for a show. I'm not fighting for a faction. I'm not fighting for a tournament. This time I'm fighting for your people and for you. Because Marcus, you are everything you say you are. You'd be a Mount Rushmore guy if you allowed yourself to believe that there were three other people on your level. I've been trying to climb that hill half my life so I know better than most. We've all seen the great things you can accomplish whenever your heart's in the right place, but we've also seen the bullshit you pull whenever your ego gets threatened. And that's the biggest difference now. It's that I know that your most intimidating trait is also your biggest weakness. I should have never been trying to climb any hill. I should have blown that bitch to rubble. So where does that leave us? Mike made it sound enticing. Try to shut Marcus Santafonte up forever because everybody tried to do that and they could not. But September 28th, if it has to be me, then it has to be me. Tell your crew not to call the cops this time. And you're a fucking idiot. <laughs>